So, hi guys and welcome back. And uh, today we're gonna do an assembling video about the Airwave P530. So, at first the Airwave uh, comes in a flight case and is really well packed. So this is the complete package. Uh, we added some extra tools uh, for extra comfort. Um, and I'm gonna show you uh, how to install the Airwave um, on our van today. Right. So here's the arm. And this end you can connect to the rods. So we already installed the, the Action King on our van. So I'm gonna show you uh, how this works in combination. So that's one, and the second piece. So uh, when we uh, install the arm, uh, I install it on a comfortable height for building. Um, but uh, if you add on the damping system and the gimbal, you have to be aware that the camera is a little bit lower. For now it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna install uh, the damping system now. So this is the damping system. You can choose for the damping system, but they also uh, delivered uh, this piece. If you don't uh, want to use uh, the damping system, you can, uh, you can connect your gimbal to this as well. But we uh, are gonna ride with the car with a lot of uh, movement. So I choose the damping system. Uh, it's with these two screws. And it's really easy to install. So first I put the screw in. And in the top hole, I first lock it with my hands. And I will also insert this on the downside, hand tight. So that's enough for now. So give it a little extra with the wrench tool, safety first. So that's it. The vibration arm is installed. Um, we use it with our Movi Pro add-on. Uh, this doesn't come with the package. So the package uh, includes this uh, DJI Ronin uh, quick release plate. So uh, you can mount your uh, Ronin into this quick release. And this is uh, standard on the Airwave 530, uh, like this. What I like about uh, the Airwave is uh, that the top plate has a cheese plate, so you can mount uh, di different parts on it. So on this side, if you have a look over here, uh, we mount a V-Lock battery plate for um, feeding the uh, transmitter. On the other side, I like to mount this security cable and connect it uh, with the Movi Pro. So uh, that's it, installing the arm. Uh, I'm now gonna install the Movi Pro and uh, show you how uh, to balance the arm. So I now have installed the, the Movi Pro and I will secure it with this uh, security cable. And you see the arm is now bouncing on the weight of the Movi. I'm still not very happy with uh, how this is. Uh, the best uh, way to balance it is that the arm is level with the ground and you can adjust it by adjusting these knobs with the wrench tool. So I'm now gonna show you how to do that. So ProAIM provided us with uh, these extra tools to adjust the tension on the arm. On the right side of the arm, when, uh, when you're in front of it, you have to turn this knob down for extra tension. And you see it's a little higher and I want, I want it to be lower. So I have to get less tension on the arm. The other side of the arm works in the opposite direction. So you have to turn the knob up for more tension and down for less tension. So I'm gonna turn it down for less tension. Two, three. Okay, it's still a little bit too high. I want to bring it to level with the ground. So I'm gonna give it five extra, one, Two, three, four, five. Do the same on the other side. Four, five. And you see the arm is now uh, level with the ground. 
it's in a straight line and that's important for the balance. So the Airwave included a three-way damping system and I'm now going to show you how to adjust it proper. Um, on top of the three-way damping systems is a knob where you can turn from soft to hard. I like to start completely at soft, so every step is going to be on soft for now. And that's where we start. So I'm now going to show you how uh, to adjust the damping on the arm. So I start uh, with, this, uh, with this top damper and you can see if we go up and down this damping of this damper is go really easy. And we're going to drive with a lot of speed. So I'm going to adjust the knobs with three or four steps. So let's do four. One, two, three, four clicks and watch it and it's a little tighter. So I think I can have a little more, so like two. That's better. So in total, I did six steps. I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other two axes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Watch this. And that's how it's back in normal position. And on this side, I do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's for the side axis. So you can see all damping axes are now reacting in the same time. And this is uh, the perfect way to balance the airwave. So right now, um, the airwave is uh, perfectly balanced and I'm gonna test it out if I gonna count three seconds and it's back in normal position then it's okay for me so i'm gonna give it a swing one two three and it's back in its normal position this for me is a nice way to check the balance so the airwave can handle a payload from 5 to 30 kilograms and um, if you adjust the arms in the right way it will enlarge the lifetime of your gimbal motors so it's really a nice add-on if you do quick shots uh, with your car. So that's it. Uh, I'm now going to show you how we uh, use the Airway 530 with our work. So let's go. Okay, so that's how we roll at Merged and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.